Uh, let's switch to the outside in the sunlight. Nothing creepy here. Growing your own fruits and vegetables is really right now and it's good for you too not only can it save you money but it can be great for your body and for your diet if you don't know where to begin however we don't all have green thumbs like the garden guy Heidi is going to consult <laughs> with some of the experts over at the urban farm this morning so that we can get started on this as well good morning Hey, good morning, Olivia. Yeah, this would be my black thumb. I can't do this, but I'm determined to learn how, and I know a lot of you out there are as well. Check this out. This is the garden in the front yard of Greg Peterson's home. He is the founder of the Urban Garden, so it makes sense that he's uh, done this beautifully in his own yard. He's got more than 40 citrus trees in here as well, and he wants everybody in the valley to be a little less intimidated by this and figure out how we can all grow our own fruits and vegetables. We were talking about how this is very trendy among millennials. Everyone's a little skeptical yep. of our food supply and that's where you come in to help everybody absolutely so this is the urban farm I've been here for 27 years and we grow food here which is awesome and you're gonna teach people tomorrow we have a big event coming up yep. on how to do their own garden starting yep. with finding the right seeds and even harvesting their own seeds what kind of seeds do we have here today oh my gosh so snow peas Swiss chard tomatoes and there's at least I'm going to guess 10 million tomatoes in that bucket. That is unbelievable. Each one of these little guys is a seed, and that makes a whole plant. And then you said this is about the average size uh, bag that people can walk away with tomorrow. Right. How many tomatoes are in this bag, oh, potentially? Uh, 10,000. Oh, my gosh. So oh, this, they're yeah. going to be set for a couple years with what they can get tomorrow. Actually, if they do it right, they can get enough seeds for the rest of their life. Oh, my gosh. And the yeah. average price. So a scoop of these right here, $1.25, and yep. they can get it tomorrow. We're going to talk about the location uh, in the place uh, coming up in just a minute, but we have some more beans over here as yep. well. And you were saying that it's really not that hard. Why are people so intimidated by this, he, especially here in the valley? Here in the valley. Well, in the desert, it's different than Minnesota or Seattle. So when people come here, they try and do the same thing that they do at home. Okay. And... It's actually really easy to grow food here in the valley. They just need to know the rules. Okay. They're different. And you're going to have some workshops at your event exactly. tomorrow. Uh, yeah. There's two sessions for it's called the Great American Seed. It's happening uh, on Central at the uh, Baptist Church on yep. Central. Yes. And there's two sessions. Your first one's already sold out. First so. one sold out. Yay. Which is good. So 1.30 to 4.30 is the afternoon session. But one of the things you're going to be able to do, and you're going to demonstrate for us, is once you get your seeds and you are able to plant a successful plant, yes. you can harvest your own. So this right. is this is a pea. What is this? I don't even this know is, what this is. I'm so embarrassed. No, that's okay. This is a bean. Okay. So you can eat them when they're green like this. Oh, it's a green bean. Okay. Yeah, it's a green bean. <laughs> and when they... <laughs> exactly. And then when they dry out, they're easy to harvest. So you just, you know, kind of crack them open and they'll spill out all over the place. And you say we can do this with our bell peppers, cucumbers, anything that we get at the grocery store, anything that we plant and with your seeds tomorrow, we're going to be set. Absolutely. And what we do tomorrow, we'll teach you three classes. We'll teach you how to st start your seeds, how to save your seeds, and how to store them. Okay. So you can buy seeds and they'll last for decades. Forever. For decades. I love it. Thank you so much. We're going to put the uh, website information online. You do have to register online. And again, the afternoon session is the only one that remains open. But we're all going to be healthier because of this, Olivia. <laughs> Great opportunity. Not surprised. It's already packed. Thank you.